welcome back to Assonation Auto World. So today we want to look at um, a little car that has been a favorite for a lot of people uh, in Japan and uh, in Africa in our Kenyan uh, market space as well. So if you are looking to start an online taxi business, uh, if you are looking to uh, have a car as your first time car that um, doesn't cost an arm um, and a leg to repair or just to maintain it that doesn't consume a lot that you can be using as a daily driver every day you have uh, to move from point A to point B remember moving from point A to point B and not moving fast not moving a lot of people or a lot of things just you so on the set today we want to look at um, specific car here Toyota Vitz Toyota Vitz, a little history about it. This is a car that was um, uh, designed, Toyota began selling it from the year 1999. This is the very car that replaced the Toyota Starlet uh, from the market. So the Toyota Starlet was first out and then a brand new Toyota Vitz was introduced to the market. So the Toyota Vitz was sold with the nameplate as Vitz uh, in Japan. And then in the other markets, uh, let's say Europe and other Asian um, countries as well as America, it was sold as the Toyota um, Yaris. However, the nameplate um, Vitz uh, has been dropped uh, from the year 2019. This car has been redesigned and the Toyota Yaris. No more Vitz, uh, no more Toyota Echo. Some other markets, this car was offered as uh, the Toyota Echo. Now, looking at this car, we have a few options for this car. So number one, we have the most basic of them all that comes with a one liter, 1000cc uh, engine. Having mentioned that this is the most basic version of them all, so this one here comes with a Toyota, in-house Toyota one liter. That is 1000cc Toyota engine. This is the um, Toyota 1KR engine. So we normally have a few options for this car. We have the 1 liter Toyota 1KR. We have the 1.3 liter 1NZ engine that uh, comes with the Toyota um, uh, Pro Box, um, Toyota Axio as well. We also have um, the 1.5 liter. And then we also had the 1.8 although on very rare occasions a 1.8 liter uh, engine for this car the 2nz and then we also now have a 1.6 uh, supercharged um, three cylinder engine from toyota that is now coming with the new toyota yaris gr so a few things on this car uh, for it being basic on the body there's not a lot we can talk about because it's just a basic um, shell with lights but some decorations here the brake lights are um, leds and then we nothing really talk about it's just a common car probably we can talk about the interior real fast so in here what you find is some sitting space from for two, I would say two because it's not a wider car, it's a bit squeezed. So for two at the back here, uh, knee room is a bit tight, headroom is um, quite good. Uh, people with um, more than 5'8 uh, or 6 uh, will be okay. Uh, there's not a lot of space here. Uh, we can check at the front, although we have some um, hooks here. This other side, we don't have even the grab handle, but we have uh, one for... Uh, the passenger side that just means that this car was originally designed to be a left hand drive which is why we had um, that one there sorry a right hand so the passenger can grab onto that if the driver becomes aggressive on the road checking at the front so the design of this car is very minimalistic very basic just start it up so if you look here um, on the clock, we can have some adjustments on the steering wheel up and down. We don't have the um, in and out uh, adjustment. So we have the basic clock still analog. Um, uh, we don't even have a rev counter on this one because yeah, it's so basic as we said. So a few lights for warnings and then 
the speedo and then the middle part here the digital part to show you a few things including um your fuel and your trip computer the dashboard here is made of real plastic hard plastic you can listen to that a steering wheel has some soft touch to it some rubber like thing but the center part here the abs is plastic as well looking at the door card here it's also plastic um grayish in color that would give it some finish but still very hard plastic so this car can tell you how cheaply it was made on a budget just to uh, help people move from one um place to the other but the other thing that would make it a bit habitable in here you have air conditioning although with analog dials uh, you have your heater and your um, um, cold air coming here as well you have a stereo here at least there was a radio in here um, however basic it was glove compartment here um, not so big but it, it can take a few of your books owner's manual here for those who've never seen an owner's manual for a toyota vitz that is how it looks like although <laughs> not really helpful all of it is in japanese probably you can find one online that can be translated and then you download um, a pdf version of it yeah so glove box there uh, we have plasticky things here some um cubby holes here for your storage as well as on the other side two cup holders here um and some other space for storage uh, down here we still have a mechanical handbrake which makes it uh, feels mm, a bit nice to uh, those who like that um, enthusiasm of having things still mechanical so on the transmission we have a five speed manual as well as a six speed manual and then there is a four speed automatic um uh, i seen automatic and then there's also a toyota cvt for other models like for this one here is fitted with the toyota um, uh, cvt up here we have the sun visor here with a vanity mirror you can check yourself mm, you can apply your makeup for your ladies we have reading lights here interior lights uh, same thing on the other side uh, only two airbags are the uh, safety kits you have on this car so we have the driver one and the passenger one over there the seats are quite comfortable very nicely padded uh, at the back here as well at the as well as the best you sit in and uh, they feel a bit um, uh, comfortable uh, you don't have to move about when you are cornering or such uh, better still you have um, at least electronic mirrors here you can adjust them as well as um, you know that we have this uh, knob here that you can uh, scroll up and down to adjust the level of hard, uh, of your headlights so let's say if you are in a darker place and then uh, visibility is quite a challenge you can put on full lights and then uh, you can do like so to make them um, a point down but then when you're through that you can bring them back to the maximum height we can quickly check out the boot so in the boot here there is quite some space um, around uh, 200 liters of space in the boot here the best thing with it is you can fold uh, uh, the, this seat and then if you're carrying a few items that are a bit bulky you can fold the back seat because it's just a bench so you can fold it down and then have some more room although you can't have uh, the back seat uh, completely flat on the floor but at least you can do that so you have some hooks here where you can tie down your um, shopping and stuff and then you also have some little space down here where you have um, your spare wheel then you can also store a few things here um, if you like but that is how you do it your wheel spanner um, handle um, as well as jack handle a few cubby holes here for your storage as well uh, this uh, this one here and then you can access your rear shocks from this end you just pry this plastic cover and then you do your shocks so the boot itself it's not that wide because this is a tiny car actually this is um class b that is subcompact car class b which are normally just commonly call, uh, called the super minis uh, little cars to do your city movements here and there uh, from one point to the other but for the engines that this car offers the one liter here toyota 1kr 
has a maximum of 66 brake horsepower and a maximum of about 91 newton meters uh, of torque. The 66 brake horsepower comes at about 6,000 RPM and then the 91 uh, newton meters of torque will come at about um, 4,800 RPM. That can only tell you how hard you need to be pushing down for you to get anything in terms of power from this tiny blender uh, motor if we can call that but yeah for just daily moving one place to the other your online taxi business uh, this is one of the cars that will just be sipping through the pipes for the fuel which will in turn be efficient to make sure that you're making profits in your business so that is all you find in a toyota vit uh, that is all that it packs uh, only that to mention that it's a bit sophisticated on the boot you at least have these dampers that are strong enough it doesn't come uh, swinging down you just open it and then it takes itself up not electric but yeah something to make your life easier on the wheels here for this being the best model um you still have steel wheels there's no alloy here and then you have the tiniest of them all not really tiny but uh 14 uh, 14 inch steel steel wheels uh, over there both front and back uh, on the side mirrors here at least you have them electric and then they have this beautiful um, corner light um, uh, winker blinker anyway repeater light um, over there that will come on when you lock and lock the car or when you're putting on your turn uh, signals uh, if you just take care of um, this car uh, you take care of it gently pump it around like a baby this car can serve you for your daily needs because let's be honest you don't need a race car you don't need huge power for you to be able to do one two three things when you just um i need a car for your uh daily use and that is that is it for the toyota vit uh also known as yaris but something else to mention here as from the year 2019 coming a model year 2020 into 2021 this very car the toyota yaris now not the vits the toyota yaris will be the same car as the mazda demio uh, toyota have the partnership with mazda to just um uh collaborate on producing the two cars so the toyota yaris and the mazda demio are gonna be the same car 2021 moving onwards so guys, if you're looking for a small, tiny car, a super mini for your movement, you can as well consider the Toyota Vitz. Uh, this is a 2014 model. Market price is a bit exaggerated, so you'll find anywhere from 600,000 up to a million shillings, depending with um, options, the kits that it has uh, from the engine to what is interior. Some of them would come with um, half leather or Alcantara interior but yeah you can consider it it's one of the most reliable cars in this class although uh, it has become a security risk at least in kenya where uh, people are targeting it for parts and all that so all those who are doing that please um, don't give um, your fellow countrymen a rough time uh, when they try to own these cars mind you some of them are doing it as their first cars you scaring them away from cars so if you've made it um, up to this point in this video, please um, consider subscribing to this channel, uh, support our content, like the video, share it with your friends, and let us enjoy together. Cheers.